Hi, my name is Mr. Oaks, and today's Alex topic is finding the roots of a quadratic equation with leading coefficient greater than 1, and I think this is one that needs simplification. So, uh, when we look at this, our first problem here says solve for u. So, when I look at this, I've got 4u squared plus 6 equals negative 11u. We want to make sure we get this simplified and put it in standard form so it's equal to 0 in this case. So I'm going to start. 4u squared plus 6 equals negative 11u. I want to get my negative 11u over to the other side, right? I need to get rid of it. So I'm going to do that by adding 11u to both sides. And it slides right in the middle there because I can't put it with the u squared. And I can't put it with the 6. So I just leave it like that. Now we're in some trouble. Our steps to factoring, the first thing we want to do is pull out a GCF. <clears throat> is there a common factor between 4, 11, and 6? I don't think so because 11 is a prime number. I'm going to look to see if there's any letters that are the same. I've got a u squared in the first term. I have a u in the second term and a constant term with the 6, so that's not going to work. Now I'm just going to have to guess and check. So to guess and check, I'm going to go like this, open up my two parentheses, set them equal to zero, and I ask myself, okay, what could it possibly be? Now, because this is a four, I like to always break my four down to two u and two u on my first check. I'm looking for factors of six here, so I'm going to say plus three and plus two, and let's just see what happens. When I put my three and my two together in the inside terms, I like to say my inners and my outers. My inners are 3 times 2, which is 6u. My adders are 2 times 2, which is 4u. Those are both positive, but when I add 4 plus 6, that doesn't work. 4 plus 6 is 10. So that's not going to work. So let's just go back a few steps and try something else. Instead of uh, 4 and 6, let's try 6 and 1. If I do this, my inners now become 6 times 2, which is 12u. My outers become 2u. 12u and 2u, that's going to give me 14u, and it needs to be 11, so 14 is not going to work. we got to go back. So, we've tried 4 and 3. Uh, I'm sorry, we've tried 2 and 3, and we've tried 6 and 1. There's no other factors of 6. We're going to have to go back even further, and we're going to have to redo the 2 and the 2 now. The 2u isn't working for us. So now I'm going to start with 4u and u. And they both have to be a pluses because we have all positive values up here. So let's pick another value for 6. Maybe it is 6 and 1. And if I look at my insides, that's 6u. I look at my outsides, and that's 4u. I put those together, I get 10. That's not going to work. So let's undo that and try one more set. Uh, if I put my 3u here, or I'm sorry, my 3 there and my 2 there, the inside terms are 3u, and the outside terms are 8u. And 8u plus 3u equals the 11u I need for my middle value. We're trying to find a first term, the first terms that multiply to give us the very first term, and the last terms, the 3 and the 2 here, that multiply to give us the last term, but when we do it, it needs to be done in such a way that the inside term, in this case it's 3u, and the outside term, so 8 times 4, or 4 times 2 gives me 8u, those add together to give us the middle. So that's just the guess and check method. It's the most reliable method that I know of without going too in-depth. But we're not done yet. Now we have to solve it. But the solving is easy. Once we get it set up, 4u plus 3 equals 0. And we've got u plus 2 equals 0. Solving these, we subtract 3 on both sides. 4u equals negative 3 divided by 4. And u equals negative 3 fourths. Pull that in up here. And we also subtract this because there's two answers. We're looking for 2 because it's quadratic. U equals negative 2. We subtracted 2 from both sides. That goes up in there. And make sure you separate them with a column. Negative 3 fourths and negative 2 as my answers. I know that's kind of a long way to do it. There might be other ways that your teachers have told you, but I like the guess and check method. You're trying to find factors of the first term and factors of the second term, and you just put them in order until you find one that works for your inners and outers. Good luck.